Hello and welcome to Blades of Fun. Today, Kevin and I are up at the Model Helicopter Club and we have finished the assembly of the 550E and we're getting ready to give it a test flight. But it's more of a proving flight really because we're not going to do any setup on this helicopter in its present condition because it is destined to be heavily modified in the next step to fit inside a scale fusible. So, and because it's going to be heavily modified, we there's no point set up on it okay and we'll do all that once it's been modified right so we're up at the field we're gonna just give it a quick once over to make sure everything is fine so as ever starting at the front of the helicopter check your factory is secure and we've already checked that it's fully charged check your ESC which is on this side isn't gonna fall off check all your wiring make sure none of that is chafing anywhere and it's all secure and not flapping around. Have a look at your, your gears and make sure that your motor gear and your main gear are meshing correctly and the main and the motor hasn't moved or anything. Moving up, check your servos, they're free to move. And the ball links, you don't need to pop them off, but if you just push with your thumb and you see the colour of your thumb can change from red to white and it doesn't pop off, then that's good enough. Okay, and you do that on all the control arms, including the ones on the head. Check, check your blade grips are secure and they're not going to come off. Check your blades, they've got a little bit of movement. They're loose, they're not too tight because if they're too tight they can't straighten up and you'll get a vibration. Okay, but they're free to move, but if you hold the helicopter like that, they stay under their own weight. If you give it a shake, it'll move. Okay, so check the condition of your blades. Okay, and make sure what you're looking for is any nasty cracks. And things pay particular attention to the root of the blade. And also check the trailing edge. And if you hold the blade at the tip and give it a twist, you're looking down here to see if there's any delamination. Okay, but these blades are good, and as you can tell by the metal tape there, we've balanced these blades, so they should be quite good. Moving down the tail, make sure everything's secure, none of these screws are sticking out and they're all nice and tight. Okay, and make sure that the tail rotor is free to move if they need to pull on these. There we go, so that's nice and free to move. Alright, next check, we're at the field. So we're going to check the centre of gravity by getting a blade at 90 degrees and just lifting. As you can see, the helicopter's a little tail heavy, but it's not too bad. We're not going to worry too much about that. Okay, so she's now ready for a test flight. Okay, so we're just going to small up. Check everything's okay. Very slow head speed this, we're running just over 1100 RPM with a three blade head. So it probably looks like it's got a bit of a wag, but we're going to give it some more head speed. That's a bit better. Lock that in a bit more. 
checking everything, the helicopter's flying. That slow wag is mechanical, so that's probably the sleeve on the carbon fibre tube, and that'll probably go away with time as it loosens up. Maybe a squirt of silicon on it just to help it. Okay, that's the high head speed that we've got programmed in this helicopter, but it's flying nicely. A little fly around. So in this mode, it seems to like the the higher head speed. And why wouldn't it? Eh? Got plenty of tail authority even with that three blade head. Just going to keep things nice and steady. Not worry too much about doing anything drastic as this is destined for a scale model. Look at that, beautiful flying. Flying lovely. With a higher head speed that wag seems to have gone away, but we'll probably combat that with a bit of gain. Don't need any more gain on the head at the moment, it's quite locked in. stable hovering machine. I'm ha hardly having to put any control inputs in to maintain a steady hover. Very pleased with it. Holding lovely. And as you can see, the wag's gone away, so it's probably loosened up a bit on that sleeve. Bit of a side wind as we're coming into land. And we're down. Shut down. Very successful test flight. So we're back in the workshop from the field after a very successful test flight. They don't normally go that good. Um, so we've got the model on the bench and we're just going to give it a quick check over just to make sure that there's nothing screaming out of us to say that we've got to do some remedial work. Um, but judging by the test flight, I don't think we'll find anything. So you want to check all your blade grips, make sure that they're still nice and tight. So hold on to the top of the helicopter and give each blade grip a tug. And what you're looking for is any outward movement you shouldn't get any at all which means that everything's okay just check all your all your ball links and everything are nice and secure and as you're going around just look at all the bolts and everything just make sure nothing's screaming out and coming loose everything's still secure give the tail boom a tug make sure that's okay and check everything is coming on so as you come up to the tail just give your blade grips on the tail a tug and make sure everything is still able to move quite freely. Your fins are still attached and your skids aren't loose. And that's pretty much it. Now the test flight for this model was basically a proving flight. Okay, We didn't do any setup on it because this helicopter 
is destined for other things and along that route it is going to get highly modified to fit inside the fuselage behind me okay so it's going to get a new a whole new tail section new rotor blades and stuff so it's there was no point doing any setup which will be the next task Hope you like that video thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe and also follow us um, on, on our Facebook page where we will have some additional photos and some videos as well uh, but um, if you have any questions or comments please um, add them in the comments on the Facebook or on our YouTube channel thanks very much